right, so I am here with one of the nominees for Best Short. Can you talk to me about your film? Give us the name and what it's about. Uh, the film's called Time Freak. It's the story of a neurotic inventor who gets lost traveling around yesterday. He has big plans for time travel, but instead just tries to keep doing everything yesterday over and over again until he gets it right, yeah. And I hear that you guys sort of have sort of a Cinderella story about how this film and the financing came together. Tell me. Uh, well, we had been working to save our money for a, an apartment in New York, and uh, we got a nice pile of money together, uh, and Andrew wrote this amazing script, and we both, you know, see ourselves as filmmakers, and said, we really believe in this. We believe in it more than an apartment, so we spent all our savings on the film, and here we are at the Oscars. Renting. Happy renting, to rent instead renting, of owning. It's okay. Well, it's renting okay. Renting the tax, renting the club. Renting the apartment. It's fine. What do you have to say about dreams coming true to all of those dreamers out there? Well, you know, together we've been working at uh, you know this business for more than 30 years of our time together, and uh, it gets really tough. And you just have to believe that what you're doing is good work, and you have to just kind of keep at it. And it's uh, gets really hard at times. It's nice to have a wife who also works with you uh, to sort of say, no, you're not crazy. This is good stuff. These are good ideas, and we'll break through it sooner or later. We didn't expect to break through quite this far on this one, but we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> What are you going to do if you're the little engine that could and you actually win tonight? Uh, I think we'll just be very grateful and very excited and uh, we'll probably celebrate a little continue, bit. continue the celebration. Because <laughs> this whole thing is a celebration, but then I think we're going to kick up the party just a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I have to ask one final question. Um, I know that the road to the Oscars, you mentioned 30 years, is not an overnight success, though we get told to tell that story over and over again. I want to know from my viewers um, one time that you thought, maybe this isn't worth it, or an obstacle that you faced that made you possibly think, you know, this is never going to happen, so they understand the truth of what it takes to get here. You know, I was a temp at Martha Stewart's catalog, not even her television station, her catalog, and I graduated from NYU with a degree in film and television, and I was a temp at her catalog, and I got fired because I wasn't a good enough temp, and I thought, this has to be the bottom. Please, please, it doesn't go lower than this, right? It can't go lower than this. Uh, and that was the bottom, and it's always an up and down, and you can't think that there's one up and there's one up, one down. There'll be downs ahead of us, there'll be ups ahead of us, so you enjoy it while you can. Right now, we feel very successful, very fortunate to have made this movie, and extremely lucky to be here. I got fired as a temp, too. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> it doesn't get it's worse. A good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> and let me tell you, as an actor, I can attest to the fact I've had so many jobs that weren't acting, and now to be involved in such an awesome project, you just got to keep working, keep fighting, keep knowing that if it's your passion and what you want to do, you're going to end up with the right people, and you may end up on the red carpet someday, you never know, and yeah, sorry, I get a little teared up, um, but it's cool, it's cool, and like, you know, just keep fighting for your dream, that's what I would say to every artist out there, yeah, Check it it's out. important. It worked for you.